booting into TWRP recovery. Here we go. Go to wipe section and select here advanced wipe and select dialog catch and data and swipe here to wipe it. And in order to boot into recovery, use advanced restart button in particular ROMs. If that is not available, you can use the traditional method to unlock using power button and volume button simultaneously. Go to home section here after wiping sections. Go to install and select the micro SD card and select OK and select storage. I mean, wherever you download ROM files, first flash the firmware here 12.5.5.0 global. Done. After flashing the firmware, go to home section again and select install and select here ROM zip files, not recovery. Back. Install up a level ROMs. CR Dried 8.4. This is latest build as you can see. April 8th build. It takes a little bit of time to flash the ROM. Wait until it gets flashed. As you can see, as you can see, the ROM zip file has been flashed successfully. Go to home section. This is a vanilla OS build, guys. So you need to flash the GAPS also. Flame GAPS 12.1 basic. Flash it. It also takes a little bit of time, not as time as ROM zip file, but you need to flash this GAPS. If you want any other zip G apps you can play but this is suggested in their website itself hence I am flashing the same and just recently someone commented I am getting error 1 if you follow the same method and follow the I mean use the same ROM zip file same firmware and same kernel and especially the same recovery then you will never face any problem that's my word Okay, done. Again, go to home section here and select here. Wipe and select format data and type here YES and press this hit button. Done. And again, go to reboot and select system. This is how the flashing method follows same methods, guys. You will never face any problem. And in this video, we will be going to discuss everything in detail regarding the CR Droid 8.4 based on Android 12.1. Everything will be explained in detail. Stay tuned till the end of the video. And it's going to boot into as you can see CR Droid 8.4. And let's begin this video. Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video, guys. Sampath, you're watching Sampath Samfax YouTube channel, and this is Poco X Android version 12 L CR Droid version 8.4. And fifth April 2022 security patch that's the latest and kernel user is 4.14.274 Optimus drunk Surya kernel has been used build date is February April sorry Friday April 8th and I have been running a CP throttling test from last five minutes you can see here the maximum is 140 6 and average is 127 and minimum is 105 it's pretty good and CPU throttle to 87 percent of its maximum performance you can see here there are yellow lines and peaks you can see there is a throttling going on in this particular ROM but the benchmark results are very good as you can see let me show the Android benchmark results 3 lakh 61,500 and temperature raise was 2 degrees Celsius and 3 percentage of battery drop has been noticed during this testing let me uninstall this straight away okay now coming to geekbench scores here also it's pretty good the single score is really very good one of the highest i can say 562 570 like that it is actual performance of snapdragon 732g but um, multi score should have been like 1800 1900 like that that's how it is and the kernel user is linux 4.14.274 optimus drunk surya kernel has been used as i said before and you get this kind of audio effects option this is like in the lineage os you have already seen this you can use that to improve your audio experience with this particular smartphone with stereo speakers or with 3.5 mm headphone jack i mean the, your pair of earphones you can make it out that's how it is and coming to like camera application there is a snapdragon camera has been installed here don't use that use this arno build g cam it's pretty good even wide angle works video features works everything going to be working a little bit problem is there in the photos you need to use multiple g cam ports to get very good output for each and every options that's how it is nx camera support is still not available for coco x3 i don't know when it get available and regarding DRM info you get level 1 certification as you can see 
it's not the problem here working fine enough and regarding settings panel i'll go in a bit here the quick settings panel as you can see this is how the quick settings panel you get and the advanced restart button is also given here if you press restart as you can see you can directly boot into recovery and these are the options so everything is working fine screen recording you get device audio and microphone to record simultaneously is there dark theme it looks like this there are options underneath i'll show you it's not the pitch black condition currently it's gray type but there are options to make it dark i already explained in several versions of shared ride i will be explaining only the important things in this particular rom and the gaming mode is also given here as you can see you can turn this on it's turned on you can off from here stop that's how it is and into settings let me show you the shared ride settings as you can see status bar settings print are given and quick settings also you can see here and even lock screen settings navigation settings button settings and user interface here monitor settings use custom color and there is an option to do that here what happened to force it to black and the swiping is also only in the left side you don't i mean you can't swipe in the right side that you need to keep in mind in this particular rom and full screen apps from here you need to enable if the particular app is not playing in the full screen you need to use this arrow mark or you need to swipe like this if you swipe here okay it's working fine and notifications is given as you can see and regarding sound it's there and about your right and in the miscellaneous you need to enable these two options unlock high fps in games and unlimited photo storage then only you will get these two options enabled and swipe to screenshot is there and these things and game space is given gaming mode that's been missing in carvas os previously what i made that's how it is now this is working okay in the settings panel it won't work as you can see you need to swipe here that's how little bit of confusion might create in this particular rom after using this gestures and uh, regarding system uh, regarding gestures as you can see system navigation there is option to increase the length and even the gesture height that's not the problem here but the problem is this one as you can see you can't simply swipe here to go back okay it's working downside now in the upside okay that's how it is now i got the point you need to swipe only in the downside of the smartphone now it's not working as you can see it's not working on the upper side of the screen that's how it is and regarding security you get face unlock and fingerprint unlock there is no app unlock and encryption credentials you can see here it's an encrypted rom and accessibility menu is missing in this kind of rom so i don't know why they skip out that accessibility menu and sound and vibration you get all the basic things and me sound enhancer is also given and good thing is you can adjust this enable hi-fi then you will get very good output there are plenty of options to customize and improve the quality of audio that's really good in this particular rom that's how it is apps if you want to change the default apps you can change from here and there are game settings again there is a game dashboard again special app access everything is working fine and coming to display here dark theme there is no option to make it pitch black that i really don't like add that if you already have that bring back that feature the gray type of dark theme i don't think so anyone like it that's how it is and uh, by the way if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and the colors keep it boosted adaptive and natural looks like washed out and peak refresh rate minimum refresh rate low refresh rate available tap to wake is given tap to sleep is also given wake on plug and refresh rate per app also you can select and you can change here as you can see you can keep your default low medium high and extreme based upon your interest on that particular app you can make it out night light is given coming to battery life and battery settings as you can see thermal profiles are also given here also you can customize individual apps adaptive preferences are given battery saver extreme battery saver is also given as you can see that's how it is and battery usage it hasn't recorded but it's fine enough not bad nowadays in the summer so you will get very good battery life, but charging speeds are not going to be good that you need to keep in mind let's see once again okay it will show charging rapidly it doesn't showing means okay i kept 
10 watt charger here we go now i brought 33 watt charger it should show charging rapidly okay as you can see charging rapidly hence 33 watt charging is supported here in this particular room and regarding face unlock as you can see it's very quick just press the power button it will get unlocked and regarding fingerprint unlock also as you can see it's also very fast that i really like it in this particular rom that's how it is and let's say bgmi gameplay and finish this video and regarding graphics settings let me go into graphics and enable the high fps up to 90 fps you can see the real time fps count here the volume is also loud enough let's see in the boot camp how it handles and also i will be showing tdm also followed by this many people watching my videos but not subscribing it hit that subscribe button guys down below as you can see it's now up to 90 80 to 90 it's not constant 90 fps I haven't seen in any ROM, even in Carvos OS also. That's how it is. And regarding giving one person a fast to make Call of Duty video, I definitely don't do that. Majority of the people should vote it in the community section i made a poll also the majority of the people selected bgm only so i am showing bgm only and many requested to make sanuk video hence i am making it that's how it is majority of the people is required to make such decisions let me increase the volume it's too loud for me that's how the gameplay when you have high fps you will get benefit of it and if you use gyroscope and everything like if you make three fingers four fingers then it will be different i definitely ag agree on that but just to show off i mean to show you how the gameplay i am doing this two button gameplay don't judge my gameplay here just i am showing how it handles in this particular rom if i set everything it will take more than hour like that for me every time and this is not my main account too okay now into tdm with same graphics set to smooth plus 90 fps and you can see the real time fps count here left side It's fine, you can definitely use it as a gaming ROM. That's good, this is. And now the shared Droid is also official one. That's a really good thing for us. I'll come back here and coming to verdict, you can definitely try it out as a daily driver. But the only annoying thing for me in this particular ROM is the dark mode. It's not in pitch black condition. There should be an option to enable dark pitch black condition. That's the only thing and uh, performance is fine and battery life could have been better. You can play around by changing kernels, but I don't recommend that. Use the same kernel which is coming with this particular ROM like this one the kernel as I said before use that same kernel only and same firmware also you will get very good 
performance back life is okay definitely not bad it's better and that's all guys in this video if you like the video give it a like and if you still not subscribe to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now